Ladies and gentlemen, Shark and O present three five minute rounds in the professional featherweight division, sponsored by Rocket Computer Services. And in the red corner, the record two wins, no defeats, weighing in a 145.3 pounds, representing Bulgarian top team from France, Harelian Remont. Welcome to opponents in the blue corner with a record of two wins and no defeats. Weighing in at 145.1 pounds. Representing Jimmer One in Portsmouth by way of Slovakia, Alex Portsnack! Get right back to the action here at Shock and Awe. Professional featherweight contest on deck. Aurelien Ramon in the blue with black trim, taking on Alex Bodnar in the blue with white trim. True international bout here. You've got Ramon, the Frenchman, training out the Bulgarian top team. And Alex Bodnar. Slovakian living here in Portsmouth. Yeah, tr a true European bout this one. Ramon reaching in with those wide angles on the hooks there. Trying to loop around the guard of Bodnar. Catches the kick and deposits his man on the back. Both fighters undefeated coming into this one. Looking to build that momentum and possibly head towards a shock and all title bout at some point next year. Big shots coming down from Ramon. And big support for Ramon. Proud and join themselves up there. Good work from the Frenchman to stay on his feet here. Bod now looking to get a bend in the spine and take his man over, ends up with his arm back on the cage. We've seen a few really good tussles up uh, on the fence tonight. Really has been the, uh, the deciding factor in a, in a number of contests here at the Shock and All 10th anniversary. Looking it, for the big takedown. Yeah. There's Ramond here. It's something you have to know, it, you, you know, you have to work your you have to know your, your cage craft is important to, to have that down. It's just one of the many things you need to know in modern MMA. Absolutely. As the sports progress, it's just become such a bigger you know, need and uh, an another additional skill that people need to develop. It's 
become the uh, the ideal competitor. Oh, just a little bit too high there. He's got the got the Kimura grip though. It looked like. Mm, yeah. The switch to an armbar here. Difficult to see just what he's got in terms of a grip on the arm of the Frenchman though. Yeah, almost an armbar, not quite. Oh, he gets mounted. Beautiful stuff from Ramon. Good opportunity here if he can seize it. Unfortunately, can't though. Ends up on his back himself. Yeah. Back and forth contest thus far between Alex Bodnar and Aurelien Ramon. Posture up here, create a little bit of space and get those strikes working. Is Alex Bodnar? I think he's going to look to. Oh, nice reversal. Wasn't quite heavy enough. Bodnar going for a heel hook. Looking to get a bite around the heel there. Yeah, Raymond went for a uh, toe hold of his own. Ramon firing elbows down to the side of the head. Not enough to stop him getting taken down, though. This is going to be a very interesting contest for our judges to pick apart here. Both guys have had moments of control. We've seen reversals. Two really evenly matched opponents right now, Brad, as you say. Kind of hard to pick them both apart. Ramon with a good grip of the neck. With Bodnar there. Bodnar just trying to punch his way out of this little predicament. Trying to fire down those short elbows, but not landing cleanly enough there is Bodnar. Yeah, Bodnar's going to try his best to work his ground and pound. I mean, he's in a great position for it. And somebody's car just backfired in the venue. <laughs> I hope it isn't mine. <laughs> the referee's taking a close look at this one. I mean, they've been staying fairly active, but let's see if one of them can do something in the last 10 seconds of the round. Bodnar. Looking to launch some shots down, but he's going to be wary of the leg. First round in the books. And a torrid pace set by both guys, really. A round of fine margins, really. Hard to separate both. As we were saying, had their moments, the judges are going to have a difficult decision, you know, scoring that one. And uh, Definitely room for both to work on in the second and third rounds, Colin. Yeah, I think I just think Bodnar had a little bit more. Um, he did a little bit more damage. He was on top a little bit more. You know, he could get the nudge for that round. Neither man looking particularly tired after that first frame. Corner there asking for straight shots. Bodnar is the slightly taller, slightly rangier of the pair, it looks like. Be interesting to see how this round plays out. If we end up with more of the ground game again, or both these guys try and keep keep it standing, try and mix it up a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. nice shot. Beautiful straight right hand there from Bodnar. Snap the head back of Ramon. That's exactly what Brian asked for. Ramon comes with the crazy angles. And it's a perfect counter, that straight shot. Bodnar trying to 
Squirm his way out there and does. Nice throw over the hip from Bodnar. Steps into top position. Let's see what kind of offense he can get going here from within the half guard. Brian Adams in the blue corner there, just uh, giving instructions to his fighter right now. This is the thing, I mean, he doesn't need to necessarily change position. He can just be on top. As long as he's being busy and doing damage, he can stay here. I mean, he's not making any attempt to pass. I mean, there's no half guard there um, at all. You know, he's not making no effort to pass, but he doesn't need to. As long as he's doing a bit of damage. Roman just trying to lock his man down here. He doesn't want Bodnar to be able to posture up and get those shots off. Oh, nice elbow there. And that really made the Frenchman wince. Yeah, it looks like it's opened up just underneath his eye. Which could become a factor in this fight. Could easily cause him some problems with the sight. Yeah, I mean, I can't see it. It looks like it may be underneath the eye. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was that elbow that sliced in there. Doesn't look like a terrible cut, and it seems to be running away from the eye rather than into it, which is a, a small mercy, I guess. Yeah. But looking a bit frantic now as Ramon scrambling to get out from underneath Alex Bodnar. Bodnar looking a bit more comfortable now in his top position. That eye is just growing in size as the, the fight carries on. Yeah, it looks like a cut under the bruise. Yeah. No, you don't know what's happened there. You know, it could be a fractured orbital bone, worst case. If so, that's really going to start swelling up. Trying to elevate his man from the bottom is Aurelien Ramon. And his movements just seem to be a little bit frantic now from the bottom. Potentially just wasting a bit of energy there when there's not really any openings for him. Well, that first round, you know, we were saying it was close and, and you know, it could go either way. So, so the guy will know on the bottom now that it, you know, this round is all to play for. He needs to get himself back in a good position. You know, otherwise, he could be looking at being two rounds down, yeah. going into the third, um, needing a stoppage. I just wonder if they're going to take a good look at that eye because now he's really bleeding. Oh, big elbows. And it's going to be a huge target for Bodnar as he rains down ground and pound. Yeah, there might not be any need to look at it if uh, he can put a finish to this fight before the end of the round, Colin. Yeah, you're right. Big shots from Bodnar. Ramon trying to cover up. Ramon trying to hide his head. Bodnar just panning away at every opening and this is a bad spot for the Frenchman Bob Mar Bodnar looking for the finish here is he going to be able to find it 40 seconds on the clock he's in a great position to do so especially if he carries on attacking that eye oh. already opened up and Ramon looking like he just doesn't want to be in there anymore the referee taking a close look at this one and yeah, it's over! Yeah. Good call, good call. Yeah, it was one-way traffic towards the end of that round and it didn't look like anything was going to change there. The referee looked in, gave Ramon several chances to, to make something from it. And unfortunately, it was just the shots carried on raining down on him and uh, a great stoppage in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, you know, they weren't the kind of shots where you're worried about the guy getting knocked out, but if he's not answering back, there's no reason to let him take more of them. He's already sporting a lot of facial damage. Solid stoppage by the referee and a big win for Alex Bodnar, who now goes to 3-0 in the shock and off featherweight division. Stop the contest at one minute and 38 seconds of round number two. 
for your winner by TKO, Alex Portsman.